my friends, I am Marietta and I welcome you to Marietta's Art Channel. Today, I am going to be doing something a little bit different than normal. I will be making flowers. The flowers are going to be poppies that actually have a lot of meaning behind them. I'll show you how to make poppy flowers with resin using wire, clay, Swarovski crystals, and fantasy film dip. It's kind of a lost art, and as a lover of flowers, I'm really looking forward to making one of those. So let's go ahead and start. As I just mentioned, this kind of art is a bit of a lost art. It's a dipping technique where I use wire and dip it into the fantasy film. Also today, the little difference that I'll be doing on this video is I will be telling you a story about the red poppies, the meaning behind the poppy. And I really didn't know exactly what it was. I have a personal story about the poppy but there's a lot more to it. So I look forward to sharing it with you as you watch me make the flower. So enjoy the music, enjoy the story, and please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I make a video. So I appreciate that and let's make that flower. When I was trying to decide what kind of flower I would make, I thought the poppy would be a great choice. I've always loved the poppy flower with its beautiful, delicate, and colorful petals. In fact, the poppy has a special meaning for me personally. Many of you may know I was born in Poland, and in Poland, names have diminutives and not nicknames. My name is Marietta, pronounced in Polish Marieta, and the diminutive is Marietka. That seems pretty long, and so it evolved to Maka, and then shortened again into Mak. In Polish, Mak is a beautiful red poppy. It means little Marietta, and only my friends and family would call me that name. If I did something wrong in my parents' eyes, they would call me Marietta, a diminutive has its meaning more than just a nickname and is a sweet way of telling someone that they care about you or they love you. When I came to the States, it took me a long time to become accustomed to my name, Marietta, again. It felt harsh and punishing. So when I decided to make a poppy for this video, I thought it would be interesting to find out whether the poppy flower has other meanings. I found that there is so much more to the meaning of the poppy than I ever realized. I will share the story of the poppy flower with you, as well as some other interesting facts that you may not know. Poppies are one of the most talked about flowers in the world. They often get a bad rap for the extra attention that is placed on them for their use in the drug community. Today's heroin long journey to drug addiction begins with the planting of opium poppy seeds. Opium is grown mainly by impoverished farmers or small plots in remote regions of the world. It flourishes in warm, dry climates, and the vast majority of opium poppies are grown in a narrow 4,500-mile stretch of mountains extending across Central Asia from Turkey through Pakistan and Burma. Recently, Opium has been grown in Latin America, notably Colombia and Mexico. The farmer takes his crop of opium to the nearest village where he sells it to the dealer who offers him the best price. The Silk Road is an 18th century term for a series of interconnected routes that ran from Europe to China. This trade routes developed between the empires of Persia and Syria on the Mediterranean coast 
and the Indian kingdoms of the East. By the late Middle Ages, the Rouse extended from Italy in the West to China in the East and Scandinavia in the North. Opium was one of the products traded among the Silk Road. In order to find their increasing desire for Chinese-produced tea, Britain, through their control of East India Company, began smuggling Indian opium to China. This resulted in an astounding addiction rate among the Chinese and led to the opium wars of the mid-1800s. As the Chinese immigrants went to work on the railroads and the gold rush, they brought opium smoking to America. In 1803, morphine, the principal ingredient in opium, was extracted from opium resin. Morphine is 10 times more powerful than processed opium, quantity for quantity. It is one of the most effective drugs known for relief of severe pain and remains the standard against which new pain relievers are measured. Several different derivatives of opium are now available for medical use. Codeine, an other component of opium, is medically prescribed for relief of moderate pain and cough suppression. It has less pain-killing ability than morphine and is usually taken orally. As a cough suppressant, it is found in a number of liquid preparations. Heroin, synthesized from morphine in 1874, the beer company of Germany introduced heroin for medical use in 1898. Our use of heroin was made illegal by federal law in 1924 due to its addiction potential and abuse. Oxycodone is synthesized for pain, a third component of opium like morphine. It is used for pain relief and is taken orally. When abused, the tablets are crushed and snorted or dissolved in water and injected. Besides being used for drug manufacturing, the poppy is also the source of poppy seeds, which are greatly priced as food source. Items such as poppy seed bagels and lemon poppy seed cakes are sought out for delicious flavors. Poppy seeds are used for cooking and can be purchased in local markets. Although the seeds do have opium content, the amount used for cooking purposes is extremely small. Consumption of poppy seeds can produce a positive result in a drug test. Poppy flowers come in a variety of colors and they bring beauty to the landscape. In several states, various species of poppies are planted among the sides of highways for erosion control. However, we all know that opiates are used very widely in medicine and the modern world. They are one of the best painkillers available and are widely used for that purpose. Prior to the 20th century, the poppy was most famous for its opiate properties and was used in Asia to produce opium. The earliest reference to opium growth and use in 3400 BC when the open poppy was cultivated in Lower Mesopotamia, Southwest Asia. The Sumerians referred it to as the joy plant. As people learned of the power of opium, demand for it increased. Many countries began to grow and process opium to expand its availability and to decrease its cost, it became the catalyst of the opium wars of the mid-1800s. The history behind the poppy flower is perhaps the most riveting. The First World War started in 1914 and millions were killed and injured. One of the largest battles of the war occurred in Flanders, a region of Belgium. Dr. Lieutenant John McCree, a young Canadian doctor, witnessed the death of a friend. He noticed that soon after, red poppies started growing between the graves. In fact, they grew in areas nothing else would grow. Despite the devastation around him, the poppy's presence inspired him to write the poem in Flanders Fields. This poem became very popular and poppies became a symbol to remember all those who died in the war. Flanders Fields 
In Flanders fields the poppies blow, Between the crosses, row on row, That mark our place, and in the sky, The larks, still bravely singing, fly, Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, sure days ago, We lived, felt dawn, so sunset glow, Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us. World War I ended, and the armistice was signed at 11 a.m. the 11th of November, 1918. This was the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The war had lasted for over four years. November 11th is now called Remembrance or Armistice Day. After the war ended, people started making paper poppies to sell and help millions of soldiers, airmen, and sailors that we call now veterans. In 1918, in response to John McCree's poem, an American academic, Moina Michael, was inspired to make and sell silk poppies and campaign to make the poppy a symbol of remembrance for those who died in the war. The Real British Legion was formed in 1921, ordered 9 million poppies and sold them on November 11th that year. They sold out immediately. Funds went to use for World War I veterans, their employment and housing. Because this was such a popular cause, the British Legion set up a poppy factory. The early ceremonies take place around the world in countries belonging to the British Commonwealth, including Australia, Canada, India, Africa, and New Zealand. On Remembrance Day, November 11th at 11 o'clock, the exact time when the guns stopped firing and when the Great War ended. For those who celebrate Remembrance Day, they honor veterans with two minutes of silence. United Kingdom ceremony takes place on Sunday nearest the 11th of November. All poppies in Scotland are made in Edinburgh by over 40 servicemen who work in the poppy factory. They make more than 5 million poppies by hand for the Scottish people poppy appeal. Stores volunteer to sell the poppies for free. The money they raise helps rebuild veterans' lives and their families, not just from World War I, but all the wars. The red poppy serves as its symbol. My parents still live in Eugene in the same home where I grew up when I came from Poland at age 10. I was talking to my father today and mentioned to him that I was making a poppy on my video. He mentioned that one of the longest and most bloody battles of World War II took place in Monte Cassino, where the Polish soldiers succeeded in capturing the Abbey of Monte Cassino and effectively opening the Allied Army's road to Rome. The Polish war song, named Red Poppy Flowers on Monte Cassino, in Polish, Czerwone Maki na Monte Cassino, was born. In early 1944, a German stronghold dug in an ancient Benestine monastery the top of Monte Cassino had blocked the Allies' advance toward Rome. Since mid-January, the forces of several Allied countries had attempted to capture the German fortress. During the Second World War, the hill and its abbey became part of the Gustav Line, a series of defense fortifications extending 130 kilometers. This abbey, atop the hill of Monte Cassino, was established in 529 by Benedict of Nursia, the founder of the Benedictine Order. For centuries, it was one of the most holy sites in Christendom. 
from January to May 1944 to crack German divisions managed to resist the Allied armies. On March 24, 1944, the Polish general Władysław Andrus was asked that Polish units would take on the mission to conquer Monte Cassino. Time was of the essence and General Andres made his decision. He wrote the following. The task that has been asked of us will bring worldwide glory to the Polish soldier. The assault from the west of the Rocky Hill was pressed by the soldiers of five nations. The Americans, then the French Expeditionary Force, later Indian and British units, and bringing up their rear was the Polish Second Corps. During the night of May 11th to the 12th of 1944, the first attack was launched, repelled by the German forces, as Polish troops were rotated in. On May 17th, the next attack was launched. The hill was bombarded by artillery and tanks, but the fiercest battles were waged by hand-to-hand -hand combat as during the World War I. The Polish units fought with great resolve, and on May 18th, at 10.30 a.m., Monte Cassino was in Allied hands. On that same day, within hours of the battle, at noon, the Polish bugler, Emil Czech, played the famous Polish bugle call Heina Mariacki announcing victory. Within hours of the battle, a song titled The Red Poppies of Monte Cassino was composed and quickly became the symbol of the victory and sacrifice. Later that day, the song was first performed at the General Andres headquarters to celebrate the Polish victory. He wrote in his memoirs. For the first time seeing red poppies of Monte Cassino, we all cried. Soldiers cried with us. Red poppies, which bloom overnight, became one more symbol of bravery and sacrifice, a tribute of those who for the love of freedom for all gave their lives. 923 Polish soldiers were killed during the Battle of Monte Cassino. Another 2,931 were wounded and 345 were never found. The conquest of Monte Cassino opened the road to Rome for the Allied armies. The Field Marshal, Sir Harold Alexander, Supreme Allied Commander of the Mediterranean Forces, said this about the Polish soldiers. To the soldiers of the Polish Second Corps, if it had been given to me to choose the soldiers, I would like to command, I would have chosen the Poles. I pay my tribute to you. This song, Red Poppies on Monte Cassino, won popularity with the troops and was soon established by a Polish-American newspaper in New York. It would later be published in Poland. It was banned, however, during the Stalinist period in the People's Republic of Poland when the government sought to minimize the memory of wartime Polish armed forces in the West. It is featured, however, in Andrzej Wajda's film Ashes and Diamonds, made in 1958 after the death of Stalin. The copyright to the song stayed with the Free State of Bavaria, or Germany, until 2015 when finally Germany transferred the copyright to Poland. As you can see, the red poppy symbolizes so many things. It's associated with sleep, peace, death, oblivion, imagination, bravery, and sacrifice. All of this meaning, recognition, much needed aid, medical treatment, and so much more. Offered by Nature's Miracle, The Red Poppy. 
I hope you enjoyed the story behind the red poppy. Enjoy the rest of this video without further voice interruption and watch me make my version of the red poppy. I hope you enjoyed the poppy story. 
I really had a good time researching it and I sure learned a lot and I hope you did as well. The project took me a lot longer than I thought. It took me actually three full days of a lot of work and a lot of patience, but it was sure worth it. It turned out really beautiful and I didn't make it really red because I wanted to see through the petals to see all the work that I had done with the soldering and the wire bending and it really turned out quite spectacular actually. If you'd like to know all the materials that I used, also instruments and supplies and also the machines, I have links down below. I also have my website down below and I appreciate you look at it. I sell all my artwork that I made on my channel on my website as well as some other art. You can contact me through my website or down below on comments and I'd appreciate that too. It would be really nice to know what you would like me to do next for you. With that, happy arting. Thank you very much. Bardzo dziękuję. Until the next time.